Everybody handles failure differently. Some people are more persistent, some people are less persistent. How do you guys handle failure? I know, I know when I fail, I'm like, dude, I gotta get back on the wagon. I gotta, get, I gotta freaking keep going. I hate failure. I, I love, but I gotta be persistent at the same time. I love being persistent. When, 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 when someone tells me no, I'm like, dude, what can I do to turn that into a yes? So you start, you start thinking about it. Like if, if, if you just accept no, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get no's all the time. Don't, don't accept no. But when you get no, are you gonna be that person that just, hey, dude, I'm gonna let it bother me. I'm gonna call less people and work harder, or not. So I'm gonna pull one of our sales guys right now. Derek, he's our newest guy. D, what's up, what's up brother? Give him some little helpful tidbits because you, you've been hanging out with me a while. You've been hanging out with the team, Dave, sales director. We do sales training every morning. We do role playing every morning. How persistent are we? Can I give, kind of give some nuggets on like being persistent, also getting, get, getting rejected mm -hmm. and how we handle failure? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's key um, with your persistence to know who you're sp speaking yeah, like with and what your audience is because uh, a lot of people are talking when you're you know, trying to make a sale or working with people, but a lot of people aren't listening. So really honing in on what they're saying, not just thinking of your next response, but figuring out a way to work with what they're giving you. Um, use that, you know, bring it back in the conversation as well. If they're talking about their family or talking about their goals, incorporate that back into uh, your trial close or something like that and, yeah. and really listen to them. Have you ever had someone tell you no, or that they weren't interested, or they didn't want to do it, or they didn't want to buy it, but maybe they did it later. Uh, yeah, they told me no, and um, they were telling me no to the wrong product. So uh, they were one uh, one of the products we have, and, and then it came down to kind of a confidence deal. And uh, so from there, I was able to shift the focus and really work with them and try to find the best products that we offer to help them out. So thanks, Dave. No problem. You can be reached eight three three forty agent. All right, Dave. I want to get Dave real quick too, though. We talked about a little bit of persistence. Talked about a little bit of rejection, handling no. What does it really mean? Actually listening. We train our guys to actually listen. Like that's, that they're, they're better than me at listening. Don't tell them. Yeah, don't say that. Dave, let's talk about failure. When someone fails, I know we're like ridiculously competitive. Right. Like the whole bar, hanging yeah. bar challenge. Hanging bar and I'm thing, like, dude, yeah. I'm not, like, yeah. that, this bothered me. It's going to happen, yeah. How do you handle that kind of stuff? Uh, when I get a no, I think I step back a little bit and I say, is it really a no? Is it that I didn't do what I needed to do? Is it they don't understand? Because I clearly believe in what I'm saying and I clearly believe they need what I have for them. So odds are it's not a no. Maybe it's a not right now. Maybe it's a, I didn't explain it correctly. Let me step back a little bit. Let's reconnect. Let's figure out what it is that you're interested in and what it is that got us to this conversation. And it's not a no. It's a not right now. It's a yeah. it's a not. They don't understand the situation. So right. I don't ever really hear no. I don't ever really hear no. There's never really a no. It's a miscommunication. It's a I didn't do a good job. Or it's just we got to figure out how we're going to work together. It's the wrong product. Uh, wrong they product. thought you were going to mention one thing. Right. You mentioned something else and you threw them off a little. Totally. Maybe. Totally. Because I didn't ask the right question. Yep. I assumed. I assumed they were interested in this, or I assumed they wanted to hear about that. I wasn't listening. I wasn't asking the right questions. I wasn't really focused on what they're needing. It doesn't matter what I think. Yeah. It matters what they think. And so it's never really a no. It's usually a mis miscommunication of some sort. So. Be persistent. The, the, the moral of the story, be persistent. When you hear no. Don't be reasonable. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Don't be reasonable. When failures happen, how do you get back up and overcome those? How good are you at handling rejection? I want you to experience so much freaking rejection this year that you're immune to it you know, in 2019. I used to work with a guy that actually counted this, the no's. He didn't count the yeses. He didn't celebrate the yeses. He counted the no's because he knew that if he got eight no's, that next one's going to be a yes. Exactly. It's not about the no's. It's about how you're going to handle these things, how you're going to get past it, how you're going to deal with it and get to the success. Celebrate the no. That's what we, that's what we do here. If, you, if we can ever help in any way, securityagementor.com and 833-40-AGENT. we got a whole team, yep. several rooms yep. here to help you, here to ha help you handle rejection, yep. failure, the word no, the word yes. We are here to help you. There's All. no doubt about that. If you ever need us, we're here.